leaps in. Rubbing sides in the canal are the Aberdeen line and Nineveh, a smaller edition of the Brussels, the hospital ship sunk in the war, and the stately steam yacht Planet. The tugs Signet and Seagull mm. have warped them into position, and in a Sydney suburb, several mm. miles from the sea, these perfect models bring a breath of blue ocean. Mm. The exhibition part of the Sydney Society of Model and Experimental Engineers at Ashfield was formerly a garbage dump. Now it is the home of marvelously accurate models. A triple expansion engine, built to exact scale, which runs as smoothly as a watch, and just as efficiently as the engines of any big ocean liner. Every ship moves under its own steam. Some are powerful enough to tow a rowing boat filled with passengers. Turbines throbbing, the backyard fleet holds to its course, an illustration of the marvelous control of the steering system of the tiny vessels. The model park railway yards, built by the voluntary work of members of the society. One of them made his own radio set. It whistled at every station. Product of many years of spare time toil, these models are the work of tradesmen and professional men who find it an absorbing hobby. But they don't build model trams. They can't get enough second-hand material. A speedboat that's racing at 10 knots, which is as fast as many 6,000 tonners can steam, and nearly as fast as Ironmonger chasing a ball to the boundary. 